Hey folks, I'm Trevian Glory, and welcome to Urtuk the Desolation. So, obviously it's something a bit new for the channel, a bit different. Um, a game that's just released today on Steam, it's early access, and build version 0 0.85.2, 0 plus 2. I, I just fancied something a bit different, to be honest, and I'd like to look at this game, and I thought we'd give it a go. So let's jump in, see what it's like. Okay, choose your party. Uh, play as vampires. Your beasts. Okay, um, well, we're going to go with just the default, obviously, but I like the notion that you can go and play with different races. Uh, and we'll probably accept the default startup as well. Range character throws javelins. Okay, I wonder what the berserker does. A versatile frontline fighter. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep those characters. Uh, choose two items. Extra meds, silver javelins. What do you do? Didn't check. Oh no, no, that's not the default. The default was a priest. Healing and support, as you'd expect, I suppose. Okay. We'll check all that out as we go through the game. But two items to choose. Uh, silver shield, a big X. Brilliant mind, boost concentration. I don't think the priest needs that. Action man, a critical strike, critical counter strike. Counter strike tri triggered on every block. Let's get that and. I think we'll just go with extra meds. And we'll go with exploration since we're just trying this out. In a dim prison called the Sanatorium. Far underground, far from the light. The maniacal alchemist performs his experiments on unwilling subjects. Here in this grim cell begins the story of Urtuk. For many years was Urtuk bound to the alchemist's workbench. But on this day his fortunes would change. Ferocious blows, the heavy prison door shudders in its frame. Eldrick, Urtuk's friend from a world above. I brought weapons. Here, take them. Hurry, there are too many to kill them all. Too late. The sanatorium guards have been summoned. Okay. Control and, control and mouse over special tiles. Are you working? Yes, you are. Okay, so that one of the things that attracted me to the game was the look. Uh, I quite like this quirky style. So, Priest Urtuk, thank you for your rescue, Edric, Eldrick, but you've been badly wounded. It's in there. Don't worry about me, just let's get out of here. We need to head east. To here, when we all reach this location, we'll be safe. But we need to kill these two guards. Okay, you're not long for this world if that's your health bar. <laughs> I like that. I bash him onto the spikes, fantastic. Hello, I am the Battle Advisor. I will guide you through the game's mechanics. Let's begin with the user interface. The camera can be moved by dragging your mouse to the edge of the screen or with the WASD keys. 
Character abilities are executed by clicking on the appropriate icons on highlighted hexagons. Okay. These icons pop up when your mouse hovers over the highlighted hexagons. You can also access abilities from the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. In this case, select an ability from the toolbar and click on a highlighted hex. So like, if we click move, then we do that right. Okay. When you're finished with your actions, click the wait button in the bottom center. Okay. So let's have the priest come up. Um, if I wait, I guess that ends the turn. As, a, as opposed to pausing them all. I was hoping to get these guys out there so that the priest could maybe get up adjacent and heal this guy. Eldrick, 65 out of 541 hit points. How am I supposed to save him? Urtuk, four move points. So we could get adjacent if these guys would move. Target receives lifesteal buff. This ability does not end turn. Lifesteal, any strike against the enemy causes you to heal. Range is three. Okay, well, let's have you move around there. And then, hang on. Normally if your character executes an action like an attack, his turn ends automat automatically ends. However, if you do not wish to take an action, you can spend the turn by waiting. End the turn by waiting. This also boosts speed by a small amount. So the character will act sooner next turn. Okay. Um, but I wanted to life steal. So if I cast that on him ah! and now if he attacks him, say he should heal slightly. Anyway, you now wait. You run up to here and you can't do anything, so you wait there and you come up to here. Uh, you could swap positions actually. Yeah, do that please. Swap him. Damage blocked by armour. Some items like chainmail, helmets and shields have the armour protection attribute. Characters protected in this way mitigate incoming attack damage, receiving only half damage and negating negative status effects. After each attack, armour protection is reduced by armour damage, an amount concurrent with the attacking weapon's armour shatter attribute. Once armour protection is reduced to zero, it has been broken and negative status effects will be applied. Every piece of armour has a protection value and when less than 50% is left, it will slowly flicker red. When at zero, the flickering is doubled. Armour's protection regenerates at 25% rate per turn. Cool. Uh, right, you jump up to here. And you're supposed to be a healer, so what can you do to heal? This ability does not end a turn. It nullifies next to incoming, incoming damage from any source. Cost 40% of maximum hit points. Um, let's and then cast that on yeah. him. 203 hit points, okay. And wait. You try this. Attack. No, we can't attack. We need to move first. Move and attack. There we go. 
Zone of control. Your character entered the enemy zone of control. All tiles adjacent are in its zone. Once entered, your character cannot move any further. Ranged under panic, character does not exert the zone of control. Well, that's pretty effective. Uh, where's the other guard going? You come up here. And... Shield ally. No, we can't do that because there's no allies. It's not a ranged thing, so you wait. Hello. Um, okay, I don't think we can reach him. You... I don't want you to move there because you're going to block everybody else. He moves at last. Is there a way it shows you initiative rate ratings, for example? Don't see anything there. Is this it? This is the order of move. Alright, so. No, if you, if you move up there, you block everybody else. So you just move into here. And I guess... Well, that's you. You wait. But you're damaged as well. Can you cast... this on yourself? Yes, you can. Oh, oh, no, I forgot about the hit point cost. I did that to avoid taking any more damage. Oh, dear. And uh, you... Move there. And you wait. And you... Move up there. And wait. Ah, so you do, you do just pause, and you get to move again later in the turn. So come down here, that's as much as you can do. Uh, you don't have any healing abilities or anything. Right, okay, um... And then he gets to go next. He's going to kill one of us. Excellent. Absorb the damage. Okay, you get to... You can't hit him. Elevation's 9. Elevation's 5. I guess that means... No, you can't. You get to there. Hurry up, I'll hold them back. No! I'm trying to save you. I... Uh, you're done there. You march down to there and wait. There's nothing I can do. You wait. You... Miss. You wait. You get up here. So he survived, but is he coming with us? Anyway. As Urtuk, you were imprisoned deep below ground in the sanatorium. For many years, the corrupt alchemists conducted hideous experiments on your body. As a result, you have suffered a deadly mutation. Now, finally, you've escaped the underground and must undertake a perilous journey in search of the cure for your affliction. You don't know its exact location, so you need to look for clues in the villages after you take them over. In this zone, the Badlands, you must fight your way through the scavengers, ragtag gangs of bandits and thugs, lurking in ambush for unwary travellers. Also remember that the medicine needed to heal injuries is extremely rare and can only be purchased in the black market. Okay. Uh, one day elapsed. Trillium is a common currency. We have nine medicine. Zero life essence, zero blood, zero flesh, and zero alcohol. 
Okay. Let's quick save just because. Let's manage party. So you've got an iron staff. Uh, Mutator item. When the next lethal damage survive with two hit points, and if you have melee weapon, strike with the next adjacent enemy. So can that go in here? Only a normal mutator slot is it? A normal mutator is allowed in this slot. Okay. So that can go in there, but I don't really want that on him. I was thinking, draw the Berserker, you could take that. Storms, nope. So that's a focus ability. Although it looks like that, I guess it's not a normal mutator. Ah, it can go there, fine. Oh, 507 hit points, so everybody seems to be at full strength. Okay, create medicine, sort item, sort medicine. Right, fine. Okay, let's go and do something. Can't zoom in any further. Monster Slayer. A well-known Monster Slayer, Lippiers the Hunter, has descended to a dismal dungeon to dispatch monsters. He's been gone for over a week and may be injured or dead. The dungeon is located to the northeast of you. Well, let's go there. Monster Slayer. Investigating this location, you discover an underground passage leading to a vast cavern. Descending deeper, you come across a herd of beasts. Among the shadows, you also spy an injured man lying on the ground. It seems he is unable to walk. Do you want to sneak in and rescue him? Yes, we do. Deployment. You can deploy up to six characters. White hexes. Select a character. I simply right click on a white hex. Okay. You, there, you, there. And there we go, a couple of baddies, another baddie, and there's presumably the guy with to rescue. Let's go ahead, start the battle. Hunter Lippiers, hey, over here, I need your help to get out of here. My leg is badly injured and I can't walk. Please come rescue me. Be wary of these monsters, they seem to sleep, but if you come close they will attack. Okay. Well, you head for there. And I suppose you. No, you wait. That's fine. Uh, you go with. You wait. You head there. Okay, move up. And how do we rescue? Hunter Lippiers, thanks for patching me up. Now let's abscond from this horrid cavern post haste. There's a hidden exit in the northwest corner. Please hurry. Okay, you back here. You swing around. Uh, you. Just stay where you are. And I get to control you. Okay, you come out here. And range is four. You can't, I should have shot that before. We moved, never mind. You wait. And you. Yeah, you head up to there.
you come up with him. And what did I see? Shield ally. Let's try that. And now you come around there. Throw a bear trap. Range is one. A minimum range is not range is one or two. Okay. And then you come up there. And let's put life. No, let's not because it costs hit points and it's not needed right now. So we'll leave that. Okay, let's get you up here. And you attack from higher elevation. Height advantage. Good job. You took advantage of higher ground and inflicted bonus damage. There is also a corresponding penalty if the attacker strikes from lower ground. Right. Oh, okay, so you fight to the death. Every ability costs stamina to use. Stamina is regenerated each turn, depending on how much you've spent. Choosing to wait will regenerate 100% of your stamina. If you strike many times during a single turn, you may drain all your stamina. 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 This will result in the character getting an out-of-breath status, and he won't be able to execute any abilities. Attack shield, ally, ranged support, etc. Okay. So, um, you get to move. You're poisoned. I uh, And you're out of breath, okay. This guy here, your range is four, so you need to move. I'd move you to here. Yeah, there. And then fire crossbow. Achievement trait. Under specific conditions, when your character executes an action, he might trigger what's called an achievement trait. Take note of what's needed to trigger these special traits. They are a powerful addition to your normal abilities. Achievement traits must be learned once they're under persistent on that character. Okay. So the strong versus beast, I guess, is the achievement trait. Two shots. Okay. Um, you can't get onto higher ground. Never mind. Go there and attack. That was fairly simple. Shit, they've spotted me. Keep them away from me. We'll try. Uh, well, I guess we'll just head straight up in that direction. But I want to come up round there. I want to come through. Is this passable? Death zone. Any unit entering this hex is killed. So you don't go in there. Spikes. Any unit entering this hex receives damage up to 15% maximum hit points. Normal terrain. Right, so I don't want to head through there. That choke point. Mind you, there's a choke point there as well. Never mind. We're going to head up that direction. Up to there. Wait. And again, you wait. Can't get you up into range. So come to here and wait there. Yeah, you jump up here and again do the shield ally business on there. What was that? That was poisoned. Two turns. 15% maximum hit point damage each turn. Acid stops armor regeneration and inflicts 35% armor damage. Uh, okay. Well, stay put. Let him come to us. Whoa! Oh well, yeah, jobby. Uh, you get here then and shoot them, or him, or it. Strong versus beast again. Oh, it's not going to last too long. Uh, you get up here and help. 
with yeah, life steal. And then you can wait there. You need to take him out in one go. Ah, there's your one go for you. You helped the wounded adventurer to the surface. As thanks for his life, he agreed to join you. Good. Battle spoils. Um, what's this? Trillium. That's the main currency and life essence. Extractable mutators. Whenever any ally dies, character heals 40% hit point of dead ally. Stalwart. Immunity against pushing, pulling, grabbing and bashing. A normal critical hit applies acid damage to all targets' armour. I think we'll go with acid. Cannot extract, not enough life essence. Oh well. Do I want to go for this? Yeah, let's, let's extract it. Success. I don't know that I like the idea of profiting from my colleagues' demise, but there's not much we can do. Okay, so we've got a few more options. But I'm going to uh, do that in the next part. I think I'm going to yeah, make a bit of a series of this. It's, uh, it's quite fun, quite light, uh, quite enjoyable. Yeah, we were 41 life essence and we spent 22. Okay. Yeah, great. So, quick save. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. As I said, something different for the channel. Um, so please leave me a comment, rate the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.